Hey guys, it's like a wolf 42299 here today with a video um on my newest showcase, my uh Star Wars the Clone Wars um Death Watch Mandalorian three part uh little showcase and today I got all these figures here to show you guys. I've been working on them for the last um three weeks or two weeks, something like that. But I've made them all, they're all finished, they're all awesome and cool, and I decided to make a showcase. This showcase might be a three-part or a two-part, so this is technically part one. I'm just going to have this set up and then show random figures and post, you know, post it up. Now, the figures that we have here today, um, Darth Maul, Savage, Two Shadow Collective Soldiers, Previous Love, Boketa, uh, Third in Command, Death Watch Soldier, and, uh, me. I'm not showcasing me, but... And then, we have Duchess of Teen. So, I'm going to be showing you these figures. I got a nice new little setup, little background thing. Now, if you don't know who that dude is, right here, he's right there. You'll see him in the episode a lot. Uh, and there's previews, and that's not Boketa on his side. That's another female Mandalorian. But, yeah, uh, that's a little background thing I just want to add up. So... We're going to start with, uh, one of these figures. Um, I think I'm going to make this a two-part. I don't know. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start off with my brand new Darth Maul minifigure. And you saw before that, I showed what he looked like. But this is a new variant of my new Darth Maul figure. My old Darth Maul figure. Give me a sec, guys. I should have grabbed this earlier. Um, had this decal. I made, and I just teared it off because it was peeling off and all getting messed up. So, I decided to make a new figure, and he's completely painted. He is awesome. <laughs> Very cool figure. Uh, back, and I, I had to wait up on these figures because I need to get paint, like gunmetal for his legs and stuff. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to start off with Darth Maul. So, real quick, I got to get him a little closer. Okay, that's a little foggy. That's a little better. Um, okay, so here he is. Um, so as you can see on this figure, uh, his legs are painted, his arms are painted, other arm, his front, and his back. So let me just get his lightsaber out of the way. And this is just a normal lightsaber hilt, you know, blade. That's a part. All that good stuff. Okay, so. And, you know, he's got the horns. Uh, this is a Darth Maul head from the Darth Maul Lego set from Episode 1. Uh, I don't have that set, actually. I got this keychain Darth Maul. So, all I did on his horns is I painted his horns in a fleshy color. And on his arms, you get that brown outlining his black shoulder pads and his gauntlets that have gunmetal. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's got gunmetal on his arms. I'm um, sorry, I should have kept them this way. <laughs> and it's the same on that side. So as you can see, the gunmetal a little better on that side. Now the torso, I did the best design I could. Let me see if you can see that a little closer. Yeah, well, it kind of looks like his design. I got gray outline, gray little smudges on it to make it look like the wrinkles brown outlining here and then I got his little chest pad thing there and then he's got his little pockets there his legs are posable you can make him sit and whatnot. It doesn't scratch the paint because I did shave his legs what you do that is you take a nail file shave his legs and then you can make him posable so just to tell you that it's easy uh, you do that with decals as well I finally figured out that trick and then you got the gunmetal kind of legs uh, little knee pads little black sides and on his back, got his design. The brown, the black, and he's got this little ammo pouch I noticed in the one episode, so I added that right there. And yeah. So, that is Darth Maul. Oh. Sorry about that, he just fell off his stand. Um, but yeah. So that's Darth Maul. Real cool figure, much better than the other one. You can see Pre Vizsla, Boketa, Savage, and Darth Maul, my first showcase on them. That was my first video. It's Darth, the Mandalorian Sith showcase, something like that. Just look it up. 
I got a lot of views on it. This should get more views because they're much better figures and I'm doing a better job at doing videos. So, let us move on to Savarf. So as you just saw that picture there, uh, Savars was the first in the Clone Wars series, the first ever, like, Sif, like Darth Maul. They wanted to replace him, like, with Darth Maul, with it, but then the one at the ending episode that he was in, in season three, they decided to make it like, uh, he went to hunt Darth Maul down. They finally brought Savars back in season four, and at the end, and he found his brother. You know, Darth Maul, the crazy, insane guy with his robot legs. Um, but yeah, during those episodes, the one episode, Darth Maul, they were attacking Hondo, and then Obi-Wan chopped his arm off. So this is just a normal Savage figure with a robotic arm. It's got the detail, the brown stripes, they're like cloth. Double blade lightsaber, just normal red. He does have his uh, torso at that. So, like, you can imitate the part when he died in that episode. If you know what I'm talking about. In the ending episode of the Mandalorian part, uh, Chant Emperor Palpatine killed him. Emperor Palpatine came. It was a cool lightsaber duel. I think my favorite was between Previsa and Darth Maul. But I also paint his horns and chip cut one right there because he does have a cut horn. I don't know if you can tell that because this is very bad. I should be correct. I'm a little sick here. Um... But yeah, there's not much to show on him. He's kind of simple. A little 360. Um, yeah, so he's a he's a nice figure. This thing keeps wobbling. Yeah, so we're gonna move on with some other figures because this guy is not like one of the big big things. So yeah. So here we got a Shadow Collective Darth Maul soldier. Um, so he's pretty cool. I really enjoyed this guy. He was like one of the first to make of the Darth Maul guys that I made. Um, so he's pretty cool. He is made from one of, uh, one of these dudes. Just painted most of everything red and switched his arms and legs. Um, but if you have noticed, this is my new Mandalorian design. I did kind of screw up on the knee pads. They're not as cool. But I got his little, um, guard right there. And then his little leg side pouches. And he is posable. You can sit in a sitting position, doesn't scratch off. Very nice. He's got normal just clone blaster from the like sets with the clone commander. They get the gray guns for some reason. Um yeah, he's got his shoulder pads, his gauntlets. Same on that side. And his torso is actually one just with black instead of blue and then red instead of the gray armor. And then his helmet. Um is pretty simple. There's red lines there, no red, and then you got the dark red with black in the middle. Cause it was dark red, I noticed on the episode, but it just didn't look as good, so I decided to make it black. And they got the red outline. It did chip off on that one. Um, but on his helmet, right here, he does have a normal Mandalorian head. Nothing inside, but there is battle damage all over this thing. I put like, a, like gunmetal all over making it look like it's battle damage but you can't tell from this but that's mostly this figure he's pretty cool I really like him I enjoy him a lot um yeah I think I did a pretty good job on him so we're gonna move on to the next figures okay okay so now we have the Darth Maul commanding officer dude um you just saw the picture of that it was pretty cool he's a he's a pretty cool character he does kill Corky in the episode, he he punches him so hard it looks like he kills him. So I just say he's dead. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. I got actually um, to make it look better. I don't know if you can tell. His shoulder pads are a little more outward. That is actually labels. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of difficult. But yeah, he's got like a brown outlining. I think he's just trying to mimic being Darth Maul. Besides, so his legs are kind of orange, so I gotta improve that. And I just dropped Darth Maul. Okay. Sorry about that. But he has glued horns all over his helmet. Really cool. I really tried to make it look like the horns. Like he does have like these sharp horns if you saw. Um, the torso is completely painted. Uh, it does look okay, but when you see it in real, it does kind of look crappy. But, sorry if I said crap. Uh, but here's the legs. Got the, he does have gunmetal boots, but they kind of wear it off. Uh, his arms, J 
jetpack, head and whatnot. He does not have a face. It's a black head. Now the horns are glued on here. Uh, what this is is this is not a Boba Fett helmet. Ugh. I was making a Boba Fett. I drilled a hole in, and it kind of never used a helmet. And these are actually I cut clone pe helmets up. Uh, clone helmets that I've had broken, and I just glued the pieces onto this. So really made it look cool. Just kind of cut them out in the shapes, and they actually look pretty nice. I've gotten used to it. it does kind of look weird, but it it dawns on you. It gets better. Um, this. And it's a pretty cool helmet. I think I did it pretty well. So, yeah. Uh, so, this is the end of this showcase, the part one. The next part will be on, you know, all the other guys. And I thought this dude was actually this dude. Um, but apparently he's not, because I did see this dude in the episode with this dude. So, I don't know who this guy is, but he's like Darth Maul's second command. You see him now and then. Uh, actually in only two parts of the episode. You might not have seen him in the one part, but when Obi-Wan's being chased, you do see him in a clip. But then he just vanishes, so it's kind of weird. But, he he never had a gun, so that's why I didn't give him a gun. Everyone else usually had a gun. So, yeah, let me, uh, conclude this video and have my little mini fig shake everyone's hand. So, just to conclude this video, um... I'm going to shake Darth Maul's hand, and then I'm going to record the next part of previews on the rest of them. And I'll be posted out in a few days from now. I'm just going to post this one today, and then I'm going to work on the other one. Just wait. Just see how many views I can get. Uh, the last video I had got 12 views, stuff like that. I want to get a lot of views. And my weekly update, I don't know if anyone's watched it, uh, weekly update late 2. I'm just going to call them updates now, not weekly, so I'm just going to do them when I want. You can technically call them blogs if you want. This is going to be called update, update 1, update 2, stuff like that. I'm just going to walk around talking about stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. My first update was technically my New Year's video, but, um, yeah. And I improved on my spin stand. I got this little thing on it, so when you turn it, I can just, you know, do that. So you don't see my hand anymore. But, yeah. Next video will be on these Death Watch dudes over there. I'm sorry, I'm cutting him out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think they're all awesome. Really think I worked pretty good on them. Sorry for the lack of videos. Haven't had much to do. Haven't had a lot of stuff. Um, but probably after my Death Watch video, I'm probably going to do a showcase on some Ahsoka minifigures, something like that, uh, for the season finale thing. So. Yeah, um, haven't really made, I don't have a Commander Fox, I do have a Commander Thorn, I don't know if I've ever showed him, but, yeah, I'm kind of upset, because in the new season finale, um, we've never seen Thorn yet, and we haven't seen Anakin and Embo and all that stuff, so I don't know if they're cutting out episodes, that's why the season's so short, but I don't know, um, and I did find out the identity, the face of Master Chief, I found it out on the internet, so, if you guys want to know who Master Chief is, he is Yoda. I knew it. Master Chief is Yoda. This is amazing. I have found out all the information. Master Chief is Yoda. So, just to get that out of the way. <laughs> so, Master Chief is Yoda. New customs. All that good stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you had a... I hope you liked the video. So, leave a like. Leave a comment. Um, do check out Commander Fox. You might see him in the comments of one of my videos. Uh, he made video car uh, customs like this too. They're 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 cool. I think they're pretty good. So I did subscribe to his channel. So if you guys want to check him out, um, there will not be a link. You just look for him on the comments if he comments. Just look for Commander Fox. Just look him up. Subscribe if you want. And please do subscribe to me. <laughs> I have th three subscribers. When I look at, it, I only have two for some reason. I don't know, but. Yeah, so, thanks a lot, guys. You're all awesome. Um, supposedly all the new LEGO Iron Man 3 sets are out. I only did a review on this thing. Um, I was hoping to do one on the Bark Speeder and a lot of other stuff, so, kind of upset about that. All the new sets are all almost coming out already. I don't even have the Bark Speeder. This is the only new set I got, the HDRT, and I only have one of them. So, he's all alone with his awesome gun. So, yeah, I'm going to work on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.